Hi, it's Deb from Deb's Day's Designs. I'm back today with another fun project for you. Today we're making cutlery holders for our table. They're quick, they're easy, and you can use whatever fabric you'd like to match the holiday or season. Before it gets started, I publish new content frequently, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out my Etsy shop, Deb's Day's Designs. That's where you'll find the written version of this project with the cutting measurements, step-by-step -step directions, photos, and a link back to this tutorial. All right, let's get this project started. Along with your regular sewing supplies for this project, you'll need two contrasting fat quarters, a piece of batting, and a rotary cutter, ruler, and mat. If you don't have the pattern and you want to pick it up, I've added a link in the description below this video. First, cut the main fabric, lining fabric, and batting into 5 inch by 15 and a half inch pieces. Place a piece of main fabric and lining fabric with the right sides facing each other. Center the batting on top. Then use fabric clips or pins to hold in place. Stitch the stack together using a quarter inch seam allowance, leaving a space open for turning. Do the same with the rest of the cutlery holders. Clip your corners, and then clip away the extra batting at the opening. Turn your piece right side out, push out those corners, and press it. Fold the opening under, and press it. Top stitch around the entire holder an eighth of an inch from the outside edges. Now with the lining on the inside, fold the bottom edge up approximately four inches to form a pocket. Again, use your fabric clips or pins to hold it in place. Secure the pocket by stitching the sides down over that previous top stitching. Stitch across the bottom of the pocket an eighth of an inch from the edge. Insert your cutlery in the holder and a napkin too if you'd like. If you want to make your own quick and easy homemade cloth napkins to match your cutlery holders, head on over to my Etsy shop, Deb's Day's Designs, where you'll find a pattern for that too. I've added a link in the description down below this video. If you'd like to see more projects like this one, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out the blog at debsdays.com for plenty of free sewing and crafting projects. Thanks for watching and see you next time with another project. Bye.